Today is October 10th of 2017 and we're gonna do something interesting for today and tomorrow which is October 12th, 11th and what no, October 11th of 2017. So I'm gonna make a mini project for the 10th day and the 11th day of Inktober. <laughs> So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an animation, a minute long approximate animation, not a minute exactly, more like 40 seconds or 30 seconds animation today and tomorrow. Ooh, the thing is I've been really inspired by animation lately. I watched this short film called The Beaver from the school called Goblin Sums. I don't know how do you pronounce that. It's a French animation school it seems. And the stuff they put out is amazing. And I saw the short film called The Beaver again and it's beautiful, the fluidity, the colors and the motion and all that stuff. I think that's the next step man like to slowly get into animation explore that art form and you know try that so that's what i want to do today and tomorrow but here's the deal yo i've never animated before yeah i've not made a single piece of anime okay maybe not i've made some lip sync animations in the past like for the, the videos like the time i tried to be spider-man and all that stuff i'd say they're more like stop motion animation and you know just putting things together like not hand-drawn traditional frame by frame animation that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna do some keyframe frame by frame animation i'm gonna draw every single freaking frame but i haven't done that before and i'm gonna do that for the first time in front of the camera oh yeah way to go cash so I started off this morning by going on a YouTube spree and looking out for tutorials on how to animate and it came across this very interesting video by draw with Jazza a fellow youtuber in 45 minutes I created this <laughs> yes yes it's beautiful oh my god oh wow <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So after watching that amazing video and getting all that knowledge, jokes apart, I saw another video from Jared Rabu, Draw with Jazza, where he was animating a dancing monkey. I so took some notes on it, took some information from that thing, tried out some stuff, and apparently I'm not that bad, you know? Like, I can't understand stuff. I, I don't think I'll be, I'll, I'll do okay on this project. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm prepared. So let's go to the first step of this process, bro. Scripting and storyboards. The scripting process for this is fairly simple. It's like a couple of lines. I don't want to reveal that line. So I've written those lines on a Google Docs. So we're gonna move on to the storyboards right after the script. So the storyboard for this project is very simple. I just did a very sketchy layout of the main movements that I need to remember. Because the frame, there's just one frame. There's just one scene. So there's not much movement. There are two characters. And I just recorded the main movements from one point to the other. These movements, these main movements are often known as keyframes in animation. So you animate between these keyframes. Example of a keyframe, I'm moving my hand from here to here. So this is a keyframe and this is a keyframe. And the things that go in between these two keyframes are called in-betweens. I'm just like putting out the terms out there for people to understand. This one's a keyframe, this one's a keyframe. The things that go in between are called in-betweens. I just drew the keyframes, the main keyframes on the storyboards. Yeah. Animation. So on the night of October 10th, I started animating the second character. I just wanted to see whether I can actually animate because I didn't know. Like, I don't know how these things work. This is the first time I'm doing it. After a good hour of just trying to animate, drawing the pencils, the in-betweens and the inking and all that thing, I drew, fin I finished four frames and the results made it really worth it. First, when I was animating, I was like, why do people do this? It is so hard. And after I was done animating and I, after I saw the result of just four frames, I was like, damn, this is why people do this, isn't it, right? It was amazing. Making your drawings come to life. That's amazing. So one of the things that newbie animators like me can do is go out and take some reference videos of the movements that you want to animate because it makes it a lot easier to understand how these things work. So you basically do that by setting up the camera and you acting out the movements that you want to animate. Yes, you do. You act it out. It was weird to be very honest. Trust me, all this thing looks way too exaggerated and dumb right now, but this is for the animation reference. This is not me. Yeah, I need to exaggerate so that I can actually, you know, get the animations right. So, it makes me look like I'm an idiot. Trust me, I'm not. Mom had me tested.
So this is how I animated this thingy. I first drew this frame. This is the first frame. And then I drew this frame. So this character goes from here to here. Then I drew in two in between frames, which one is this and this one. So yeah, I drew these frames and it goes like this. And also I was like animating the old fashioned way. I'm pretty much animating in the traditional fashion. And also I was animating like this, like every single time I, I need to flip the paper like this, like this and see whether the, there's a difference. And I find that to be really tedious. So I came up with a solution. I made my own light box. So light box is actually a device which has a transparent top and light underneath so that you can when you put two papers you can see through the papers so you can see the drawing underneath the main drawing so that it'll be easier for me to animate and see what was the last frame. This is how the animation process works for me. I took some copy papers, A4 sheets, A4 white copy papers, put them together using paper clips then I started animating with a pencil and I flipped over and over and over and see what was the last frame. So now the light box is there, it's gonna be a lot easier for me. And once I'm done with all the keyframes and the in-betweens and all those things, then I take my good old fashioned brush pen and ink the whole character. And once I was done with that, then I go back in with a big pen to do some shading, to add some depth to the characters, so yeah. So here's the deal, yeah, I've finished the animation for the first character. It is done, I think it's got around like 37 individual drawings that I didn't, I didn't even count. All drawn, inked, cross hatched shaded, done, dada. But, but, but there's one more thing that I'll be adding to the character, but that'll be done after in the main video, so that I don't want to spoil anything here. So here's how the animation looks. Damn man, I, I, th I think that looks good. That looks good. The first character is done. So now on to the second character, which will be on tomorrow's vlog. Bye-bye.